We're here in Amy, Louisiana for round three of the high school 2013 playoffs. It's the quarterfinals, and the North Webster Knights have traveled six hours from North Louisiana, the Arkansas State Line, to come down here and take on the Amy Warriors tonight in a big matchup to see who advances to the semifinals. Yeah, it's cold. If you like cold weather football, here it is. And you got a game that's going to feature running backs. This game is going to be won in the trenches. You got Kenner Harrell for A Meet, who's rolled up a bunch of yards. Had a big game against West Feliciana last week, 226 yards, three touchdowns. You got this other kid, Davon White from North Webster, in the upset of the two seed, Caldwell, had a huge game. This kid is big, he's strong, he goes both ways and plays linebacker. Should be a hard hitting game. It's going to be an interesting game to watch. Well, talking to Coach Foster before the game, he believes in his defense. His defense has been strong against the run all year, and he said we have to play assignment football. Everybody stay where they're supposed to stay, and they've been tough against the run. They shut down a, a West Feliciana attack last week that had been rolling up the points and held them down all game long. So it's going to ball down to the defense and who can run the football, and we'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment of the WSTY Game of the Week, round three of the playoffs. They meet North Webster. Injured on the field, hurt on the job, been in a car accident, the doctors at Anton's Chiropractic Care will help you get back to pre-injury performance level. With treatments including chiropractic adjustments, physical therapy, and massage therapy, you will quickly begin seeing results. Anthon's even schedules Saturday appointments to ensure that your treatment will not interfere with your schedule. So give them a call at 985-542-1640 to schedule your appointment or stop by their downtown location in Hammond across from the Columbia Theater. That's Anthon's Chiropractic Care for all your chiropractic needs. We're ready for kickoff, the WSTY game of the week here. It is Amid and North Webster. The Knights will receive setback deepest number 40, Devin White. The self-proclaimed A-team in the building tonight, our cameraman Butch Lee, the round mound of sound, Matt Greer, and I'm the big dog, Daryl Smith, bringing you quarterfinal action here in Amid. Kick is away, it's high, end over hand. This is White at about the 11. The reverse field, tumbles a little bit, but he's still on his feet. Got a couple of blockers out front, and he'll get it all the way out to about the 33-yard line where the Knights will take over first down and 10 for their opening possession. Well, we'll see what the Knights got here. We've heard about this, this vaunted running game of theirs in Devon, Devon or Devin White, number 40. Uh, last week against Caldwell, 206 yards, three touchdowns. Uh, this, this young man does go both ways. He plays linebacker on the defense. And I hear he's a pretty good linebacker as well. Well, he will start off in the backfield. It is a pro set with Hawthorne and White back there. Now it will just be Hawthorne as White sets up in the, in the slot position. Running the show will be number five, Alex Taylor, a senior quarterback. Hands the ball to White to the right side. He's hitting the backfield, nowhere to go. Warriors back there immediately. Led by number nine, Lorenta Harrell, and they know what Webster wants to do there, and they were in the backfield early. We talk about it week after week. If that defensive line can get penetration, it's going to help you out an awful lot against the run. Well, we saw this Amy Warrior defense shut down the high-flying West Feliciana Saints last week, only allowing six points. This Warrior defense in two playoff games has forced 12 turnovers. Loss of a half yard on the play. It'll be second down. Inside handoff this time, picks up a couple. He'll get out to the 35-yard line. It'll bring up a third down and eight. I believe that's Hawthorne. That was Hawthorne on the carry. In on the tackle, number 21, Joshua Perry. Perry, who did such a great job matching up last week against Ferguson on the outside. So third and long, just what this defense wants. Now let's see if they go to the air. Their receiver that they like to go to, number 39, Montavious Smith. 6'3", wide receiver. You see him to the top of your screen. Brandon Burton outlined up on him man-to-man. -man. Hey, meet showing blitz. Fakes it. Looking to throw his tailor. He's being pressured. Gets rid of it late. Got a receiver out there, and it's a first down. If he stayed in bounds, this will be a touchdown, but they called him out. They're marking it. At about the 39-yard line, that was a tight end. Lee Number Knight. 88, White. Well, you saw he was looking. Uh, he was looking for the other receiver, uh, Montavious Smith. White uh, did the drag all the way across the field. 
And you see Amy's defense flushed the quarterback out. He hung it up, and that's another tall receiver out there uh, in, in Lee. Willie Lee on the reception gives the Knights a first down inside Amy territory. Once again, they hand it off in the backfield, bouncing off tacklers is Devin White, gain of a yard. You know, and that's one of those dejecting things for a defense when you play so well a couple plays. They had pressure on the quarterback on that third down play. Didn't quite get there in time. He was able to hang it up, and the receiver drag it across, picked up the first down, but it will be second down. Let's call it 10 again. Amy getting good penetration on these running plays. Smith to the top of your screen. Once again, Warriors trying to come on blitz. Reverse action. Out in the outfield and a great tackle out there. See if I could get the number. Number 35 for the Warriors out in the open field. Tobias Hampton got him around the ankles. Not an easy thing to do out there in open field. That's 21 Lynn Travius Gibson on the carry. Only got three yards on the play, so once again, third down and long. It'll be third and seven for the war for the uh Warriors defense to try to get them off the field. They want to get their hands on the football and get their, their vaunted running game working here early. But the, the, the Knights have it inside Warrior territory at the 37, third down and seven. Now he's under five seconds to get this ball snapped. Quarterback keeper tailing, and we got a whistle blown. And I believe that North Webster might have called a timeout there before the ball was snapped, yes. and that's the case. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors for tonight's game. Bill Hood, AB, Bill Hood of A Meat, Drive-In Drug Store, Mountainers Tire Mart, Jim's Paint and Body Shop, Anthon's Chiropractic, and s, &S Sports Center. And you know, s, s does us a big favor every year by sponsoring our s, &S Player of the Game. And uh, we like to give our hats off to the Squash family. Been serving this area for well over 20 years. Anything sporty goods, go by there and they can take care of you. They do it right over there at s, &S. They give us some nice, Nice pullovers to keep us warm up here. Give us some hats. So North Webster realizes that it was gonna, not gonna get the playoff in time, or at least they thought they weren't. They go ahead and call the timeout, so it will still be a third down and seven. Big play here early in the ball game. North Webster capitalized on a third and long. This is their second third down. And let me tell you something, folks. It, it, I want to set the stage for you. We are filming from the visitor sideline. So you, when you hear the cheers over here, it's not good for the Warriors. Yeah. Uh, and they traveled yeah. well. This whole side is They're packed. packed. Six hour ride. Bumble. Taylor going to the outside. Not going to get the first down. And he's hammered out of bounds. Maybe got a yard on the play. It'll be decision time for the Knights. But again, he, he fumbled a snap. Amy getting good penetration, chased him all the way to the sideline. And it looked like the snap may have been off a little bit, but it hit him in the hands, but it looked like he was looking at that defensive end coming off the corner there to see how much time he had and just fumbled the ball and the offense is staying on the field. So a big time, big play here for the Amy Warriors defense if they can stop him here and get the football in great field position. The Warriors sporting the gold jerseys tonight. I like them. They wore white on white last week against West Feliciana. Smith out wide to this side of the field. They hand it to Smith, going to the corner, breaks a tackle, has the first down, inside the 20 down to the 18. And that was Ard making the save and tackle. And I'm going to tell you right now, fourth and seven, and you hand the ball off and run it on a sweet play, you have some competence in your running game. You have to. Now, this is a uh, this is a North Webster team that's used to putting a bunch of points on the board, just like we saw last week with West Feliciana averaging 33 points a game. These Knights averaged 34 points per game. 8.20 to go here in the opening quarter. No score, opening possession. North Webster on the move, first down and 10. Hand the ball off to 40 again. He's going to be their workhorse, Devin White. Gain of three. A little miscommunication there. You see Taylor and White bumped into each other on the exchange. And wouldn't it be great for the Warriors if they could bump at each other and get a turnover here? They had the ball on the ground earlier, but it bounced right back up to Taylor. They gave him only one yard on the, on the uh, carry. It'll be second down and nine. And I think both teams are just going to continually try to pound the football at each other. 
One thing Coach Foster said, though, to be careful is, is Northwestern does have players, a lot of players going both ways. Hopefully they can pound them and wear them down. Taylor, quarterback draw to the right. Gap closed quickly. Gets just inside the 15-yard line. I believe that was hard again on the tackle. And it looked like it was a big hole there, but it closed it very quickly there. This Amy defense with a lot of quickness. From our vantage point, you can see it open wide. Taylor tried to skeet through there. Hard able to corral him. So third down and seven. High formation this time. Hawthorne with Smith behind him. It'll be Smith off the left side. He's hitting the backfield. Nowhere to go. A whole bunch of Warriors in there on that tackle. I saw Torrance Porter, Brad Porter in there on that one. 53 got in there, I believe, and hit him first, Porter. And looks like it's field goal time for North Webster. Now, I saw this young man in pregame hit them from about 40. Yeah. So well within his range here, this will be a 33-yard field goal attempt. McMullen for the field goal to give North Webster the early lead. It's a fake. Got a man wide open. Touchdown. And he's in. Is that 88 Lee? No, that is 39. That's Montavia Smith. Lined up on the end of block and just it was a direct snap to the kicker. Threw a terrible pass, but he was so wide open yeah. he had all day to catch it. And they take the early lead. There was six to nothing. No one out there. Warriors caught napping there. Now McMullen to try to point after. And, and it's blocked. So with 6.01 to go in the opening quarter, Northwestern strikes first and leads it six to nothing. Hard on the block. Looks like he's lined up for a uh, directional kick here. Tries onside. the onside kick. And, they've and got they it. get it. And they meet had no clue. You saw he lined up on this side and had seven, eight guys on that side of him. And Amit made no adjustment, and Northwestern gets the football back. That was Gibson. He skied to come down with it. Yeah, they weren't even disguising that. They lined up to do it. Amit didn't react, and they did it. Not a good start here tonight for the Amit Warriors. Miss, missteps on special teams. You got the fake field goal that uh, caught Amit napping, and then the onside kick right there. Now North Webster comes out, two receivers to the bottom of your screen, two to the top. Hawthorne to backfield, Taylor from the shotgun, looking to throw. Got it, going up over the middle, got a man out there. And it's not caught in and out of the hands, and that was Willie Lee. Is there a flag now? No. I tell you what, that ball dropped right in Lee's bread basket. Just didn't come up with it. Now the officials discussing yeah, something. They are holding on a defense. I don't see, I never saw the flag come in. But it is a flag against the Warriors. And that will give the Knights a first down all the way down to the 32 yard line. Lee got up and was asking the referee for a flag. But that flag him. was not on the play at the goal line. It was back up at the line of scrimmage. <laughs> Quarterback keeper left side, this is Taylor. Turns it upfield, gets about three or four. He'll get it down to the 29 yard line. So under six minutes here in the first quarter, we've yet to see the A-Meet Warrior offense. 
Well, Northwest are coming in, coming in here looking like a team that's come here to win a ball game, not coming to play yeah. even and, and and play it safe. They come out here and they fake the field goal. They've onside kicked. And they lead it six to nothing and have the football now, second down and seven. And then they went deep there. They were looking to, to going for the jugular. At the A beat 29 yard line. Inside run all the way down to the 15 yard line goes Gibson. A lot of weapons from the Knights. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, between the throwing and the running, they seem to have this defense off balance right now. A.B. came out with a game plan. We're going to power and put everybody in the box. And now they're kind of throwing them off here with a little misdirection play. And another first down for the Knights. Carry off the right side for White. Gain of two, it'll be second down and eight. If you're right, Coach Foster, you'd hate to see your team go down by two scores when you haven't touched the football yet. Yeah. And they have eaten up almost this whole first quarter. We're down to just over four minutes to go here before they'll snap this football. And they've mixed up the play calling. Three receivers to the top of your screen, one to the near side. Taylor going to roll right on a quarterback keeper, gets to the corner and nowhere to go. Good job by the cornerback on that side as he fought off the block and made the tackle. Kalen Richardson made the initial penetration that flushed him, and he was able to hold him up just enough for the other Warriors to make the tackle. Lost the one on the play. It'll be third down and nine. And what North Webster has done here, they've got these coaches on the other sideline scratching their head. They don't know what's coming at them. Yeah, we've seen many different formations from, uh, from North Webster. Yeah, they, they run a wing tee naturally, which is what you see there. Handoff left side, breaks a tackle. There goes White. I think the ball's on the ground. It's loose. They the Warriors they think it. they have it. And they and do. They do. Big turnover for the Warriors right there. We talked about the Warriors forcing turnovers in these playoffs. That's number 13. 13. And I tell you, that's really big because if Webster, North Webster would have got in here and gone up two scores on these Warriors, I tell you what. Well, it changes the whole philosophy as a defense for North Webster. You're able to play the run more or to stop the run and make them throw the football. So finally, we get to see the Warrior offense on the field. And the young sophomore running back who's been so good for our Kenner Harrell, he will be deep in the eye. Kenner Harrell in two playoff games, 364 yards and five touchdowns, averaging almost eight yards a carry. A meet in the, in, the, in the triple eye. And here goes Harrell off the left side. Hit immediately, but he's still on his feet, picks up some yards. Looks like he got five on the first down carry. And this is kind of what we saw last week, Harrell for four, Harrell for five, and then sooner or later, it kept pounding up and he was able to have a big, big game for him. And you know, Devarius Henderson, he doesn't throw it often, but when he does, he's effective. And it's usually set up by this Harrell running game. Bubba. Once again, they run left behind big Devin Johnson, and here comes Harrell. He's out to the 26th, first first down of the night for the Warriors. You could just feel the whole mood of the stadium change right. as the Warriors got the turnover. Now the Northwestern crowd, you can hear them because we're on this sideline. They're behind this team. We got cowbells and horns and pom-poms. We had a cannon went off before the game, like scared, the scared Butch oh, out of it. You know, he ain't got many years left. <laughs> That took a few years off. T took a couple of years off. Staying with the triple I. Here goes Harrell, left side. Once again, he'll get out close to the 30. Gain of about three. And this is the second night I've seen come out of the uh, defensive pile yeah, limping. This, this is Gladney, one of their linemen, coming out limping. Able to run off under his own power, though. 
probably rolled an ankle in that in that that massive pile in there because look at a meet they've got everybody within they're the box yeah they're, they're looking to just punch the knights right in the mouth harold right side runs it again gets it out to the 32. another four yards and this has to be an adjustment coach foster made during the, the week since uh, the west feliciana win because we didn't see this alignment last week well if you look at this defense the a meet offensive line's got a little size on them now the defensive line is stout, but they're not real tall, and maybe they think they can pound the football at them. Obviously so, as they're running the triple I. Third down and a long three. <coughs> Harold with the first down, gets clotheslined at the 41-yard line, but it will be a first down. That's the second time we've seen Harold get corralled around the neck uh, in the process of the tackle. Well, we talked about it last week, and we'll talk about it again this week. Number 79, Devin Johnson over there on that left side, a two-lane signee, he's and big. he's a big man. Yeah. And they'll want to ride a run behind him as much as they can. In comes Devin Head at fullback. Hampton has been leading the way on a lot of these runs. But once again, Harold rolling up the yardage. First to 10 from the 41, and a meet will take a timeout. After the timeout, Warriors out, first down and 10. 43.7 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. It's six to nothing. North Webster scored on a fake field goal, and then onside kick and drove it down, but a meet got the turnover, and now they're on the march. Harold left side, big hole there, across the 50 into night territory. Another 10 yards for Harold. See where the mark's at, whether he'll have a first down or not. He does. So right now, the AP, AB offensive line imposing their will. And they're going no huddle here. Well, nothing fancy going on here. They want to keep those guys on the field and try to Sorry. pound it at them. Harrell again, nice cut to the inside, gets it down to the, looks to be about the 44-yard line. That'll be a gain of four. Now, we know that Harrell gets a lot of the carries here, but every once in a while you'll see him bring Frazier in. Frazier's a speedy back. Right. We saw him take one to the house last week. They gonna let this quarter run out. And that takes us to the end of the first quarter. Your score, North Webster six, a meet zero. Injured on the field, hurt on the job, been in a car accident, the doctors at Anton's Chiropractic Care will help you get back to pre-injury performance level. With treatments including chiropractic adjustments, physical therapy, and massage therapy, you will quickly begin seeing results. Anthons even schedule Saturday appointments to ensure that your treatment will not interfere with your schedule. So give them a call at 985-542-1640 to schedule your appointment or stop by their downtown location in Hammond across from the Columbia Theater. That's Anthons Chiropractic Care for all your chiropractic needs. They flips into the field. Hampton back in at fullback. Harrell is still your tailback. It has been all Harrell on every play so far for the Warriors. Second down and seven. Here comes Harrell again. Gets it down inside the 40-yard line where it'll bring up a third and short. Now you see as Harrell goes into the middle of that line, you see some of the Knights going after that football, trying to jar it loose. It'll be third down and two. A meet no huddle right now. Like we said, their big running back, White, is they're also their middle linebacker, so they're pounding it in there. Harold, nice cut as he gets the first down and more all the way down to the 26-yard line. It was a shoestring tackle by Lentravius Gibson. He was on the ground and was able to get enough of Harold's ankle to trip him up. He just stuck his foot in the ground and made a great cut back upfield and a big gain there and a first down for the Warriors. Harold right side. This time he's met as he just crosses the line of scrimmage. Now that's probably the first time they've really stopped him on this drive. No gain on the play. Harold might be getting a little tired here. It'll be second down. Let's call it nine. They meet averaging 30 points a game themselves. 
So they're used to putting some points up. And this is what, what, what you would call old time Green Bay Packer power football. Mm -hmm. Northwest are allowing 18 points a game. Pitch to Harrell, right side, follows the Hampton. He breaks one tackle. Not going to get a lot there. We'll bring up a, be about a third and five. Is that about right? Probably a little more than five. Let's see where they mark it. I'm going to call it third down and six. Knights. Obviously, though, four down territory for the Warriors. Knights defense have stiffened up a little here as they got their backs closer to that end zone. Here comes Harrell left side, makes a nice cut. He'll have the first down. He's all the way down to the 15 yard line and that will be another first down for the Warriors. And you see num number 32 over there. That's Hawthorne getting up slowly. And Coach Foster told us before the game, he said, look, you know, a passing team, you can go both ways, but when you're having to make tackles and take on blocks, we hope that we can work them and wear them down. And they're doing a good job of it on this yeah. drive so far. And I tell you, it's cold. And those, if you keep pounding on these guys, that's going to wear on you. Early second quarter here. Warriors trailing by six, but they have a first down in the red zone. This time they hand it off to Hampton. He's going to try to bounce it outside, breaks a tackle, and will get a couple of yards out of nothing. Well earned two yards. Tried to catch them off guard there as they run the fullback. And we've got a knight down on the field. One of the senior linemen, Davius Jackson, helped off the field there. A big loss for them. You got one of those big guys. And now a meet on a second down and seven. As Hampton on the, the first time that it hadn't been Harrell on the carry, picked up three. <clears throat> Eye formation again. This time they'll go right with Harrell, trying to get to the corner. Cuts it back inside. Got two, he'll be down just inside the 10 yard line. It'll bring up third down and we've got another night down on the field. Oh, these are legs. Another lineman, Dallas Lay, a sophomore coming off the field for the Knights. So they meet now, third down, let's call it five. They're on the nine yard line. 8.54 to go here, trailing six to nothing. <clears throat> Henderson surveys the defense. They'll hand it to Harrell straight up the middle. He's hit at the line of scrimmage, not much there. And it will bring, I believe, up a, they'll be going to be close to the first down. Well, let's see where they mark it. It'll be fourth down in about a yard, I believe. No doubt they'll go for this. Looks like it'll be closer to two. So the Warriors gonna go for it on fourth down. Eight oh two to go, big fourth down play. Harrell, right side, cuts it back inside, has the first down. Nice little jump cut there by Harrell, and he will give the Warriors a first down and goal at the four yard line. Well, that's what you get with Harrell. Looks like he's gonna go around the end. He sees that little opening, and he darts right through it. Well, and what you notice about Harrell is he doesn't go outside very much. He'll land that, but he's always gonna, at some point, plant and take what they give him. So first and goal, Warriors. Under eight minutes to go here in the first half. They trail by six, looking to tie it up. Harrell, right side, he's hitting the backfield. Maya got back to the line of scrimmage, second down. And it's kind of funny, it seems like on this, lately in this drive, everything's been to the right, to the right. They've stayed away from going left behind Big Devin Johnson. Let's see if they go back to their bread and butter. Actually, they've got him on the right side now. Maybe that's why they're running over there. Yep. They do move him around. That was White on that tackle. Henderson looking to throw, had a man open. 
knocked down at the last minute. Looks like number seven, Darius Gilbert, got the left hand up. Never saw the football, but luckily got a hand on it. He got his hands up, but he never got his head around. If there had been any kind of contact, that, that, that would have drawn the flag. So to bring up third down and goal from the four. That's only the second play in this drive. Amid hasn't gone to Harrell. You had the one running play to Hampton, and then Bubba Henderson on the, on the pass attempt. 7-14 to go, to go, third down and goal for the Warriors. And this sideline over here is back in their defense. You can hear them, folks. Triple I formation, the same formation they started the game. Pitch to Harold to the left side, and he's hitting the backfield. Number 46 got him around the ankle. Trayon Standokes, and that's going to bring up a Fourth down and goal. More personnel coming in for the Warriors. They'll go shotgun here with four receivers. And they'll spread them out wide. You gotta keep an eye at the bottom of your screen. Number six, Kendrick Vining made a lot of big plays for this Warriors deep offense in the passing game. That's who they're looking at. Looking Vining at on the slant, touchdown. Beautiful. Bubba Henderson to Vining. Just a quick slant, well, Darryl. And that's one of those passes you don't see a lot in high school football, but Amit runs it well, and they've tied it up at six with 6.24 to go here in the first half and quieted this Webster crowd. Ran into Kendrick Vining's dad this week, told him we'd be doing the game. He said uh, hopefully we'd mention his name. Warriors to go for two. Henderson from the shotgun. Looking, got a man to the outside, wide open. And it's binding again, and it's eight to six Warriors as they take the lead for the first time tonight. Nice pick play. White back deep to receive for the Knights. Devon to kick it off. Kind of a squib kick, gonna take a bounce. Fielded at the 11-yard line by Taylor. Runs to the near side, he'll get it out near the 30-yard line. Where the Knights will take over now, trailing by two. The pretty good start here for the WS2I game of the yeah. week. Quarterfinal matchup between the Amit Warriors and the North Webster Knights. And North Webster came out on a fake field goal, got a touchdown, onside <laughs> kick, and it's like, oh, what's happening here? But come back to Warriors, get the turnover, and then get the, the touchdown drive. One of the more exciting eight to six games you'll see. Of course, that was a nice drive by Amit. Most of the work being done by Kenner Harrell. Binding on the touchdown reception and the two-point conversion. Handoff left side, breaks a tackle as Hawthorne, and he gets it all the way out to the 49-yard line, 18-yard gain. This is a good North Webster team uh, beating Iowa and Caldwell to get here. They only had three losses in the regular season, Darrell. Uh, one of the teams they lost to was Haynesville, who was the number one seed in the 1A uh, playoffs, and they they lost to Evangel. Everybody knows about Evangel. So uh, the other one was Natchitoches Central. This is, this is a good Northwestern team. Well, and the one thing, when you put everybody in the box, if they can get through the line of scrimmage, there's big yardage to be made there. Handed off the left side on the counter play. No, sir. Hit at the line of scrimmage. You'll pick up a couple. Did I see a late flag come in there? Inside Warrior territory to the 49. There is a flag down. It was at the point of contact where the flag came in. The flag is actually three or four yards up upfield, so let's see if they mark it off from that spot. They mark it off against the Warriors, a incidental face pass. Came in from that line judge over there. And now they've got, they're gonna have to take a time out here. The chains are all messed up.
I still don't think they have the chains right. I don't either, and that's what the, 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 the Northwestern fans are yelling right but now. But it's going to be first down and four after the penalty. Taylor zips it to the outside. Pass intended out there for Gibson, but it one hops him. Yeah, I think they missed that one. Well, what I think they missed was when the chain crew took a couple of steps to go, and they said, hold up, it's not a first down, and then they just stopped, and that's where they left them. So actually, it should be about second down and one, and it's, now it's second and four. Now they're talking about something. I believe that's what this line judge is telling him. Or they meet saying, what, what's going on? But this is right, what they're doing. And, and it looks like they might have got it right there. They moved them back about a yard and a half. Coach Foster going to get an explanation over there. The main thing is that you get it right, and it looks like they got it right. 5.32 to go here in the first half. They beat up 8-6. to six. North Webster now in Warrior territory down to the 44-yard line. They have a second and short. Now the officials will congregate. Got a little zebra conference going mm -hmm. on. Uh, the other, only other team locally in action is, uh, is Kentwood, uh, left here in Tanspo Parish, up in there in 1A. Yeah, we had everybody else get knocked out last week, so the Warriors and the Ruse, the last two remaining teams from this area. Mitchell still trying to talk to Coach Foster over there. All right, here we go. Now we'll get back to football. Second down and three. Warriors showing blitz. Here they come. Inside handoff is White. Breaks a tackle. He's at the 40. 35-30. Stiff arms and pushed out of bounds at the 17-yard line. And a flag down in the middle of the field, so hold your horses. Not so fast, my friend. I believe this one's coming back. Well, we see some Warriors clapping out there. Maybe this would be holding right at the line of scrimmage. And you see Taylor, the quarterback, unhappy, so that's exactly what we're going to get, something against the Knights. Made it negate a big run by White. That's holding. what it was. Backs him up 10 yards, and now it will be second down and 11. You saw him meet bring it uh, with the blitz. And White got around that, and there was no one over here. Well, White's 6'2", 230, and runs in that 4'4", four, 4'5", four, four, range. So you know that he is a big play guy. But once again, let it be known, White's carrying a lot of load, but he's also playing middle linebacker on defense. We'll have to see how that plays out as we get to the fourth quarter. 5'17 to go, 8-6 to six Warriors. Pass over the middle. Good oh. play out there by the cornerback. Almost picked off. Number four out there, Brandon Burton, just stepped in front of the receiver and almost had another turnover for the Warriors. Yeah, good job by Burton. He read it the whole way. Jumped it just at the right time. Ball at the 46. It'll be third down and 12. And this is a big third down here for the Warriors if you can get this offense off the field and get the football back with one last chance before the half. Because they will also get it to start the second half. Pitch to White. He's going to get to the outside. He's going to have the first down and more. He's got blocking. Nice block out front by the wide receiver, Smith. Is that 39 on the block? Yep. 
And White takes it all the way down to the 25-yard line. So just when it looked like the Warriors had them in third and long, and all they do is a quick pitch and a run. And Amy's going to take a timeout. Back after the timeout, tight ball game here. It's 8-6, to six, Amy. Late first half, 5.06 to go. And the Knights now go with an eye formation. Their big running back, Devin White, who's had some big runs, is the tailback. Looking to throw his Taylor off his back leg. Got a man wide open, complete to the three-yard line. Pass caught by Gibson. And Amy's selling out so much to stop White that they're getting some receivers open. Taylor off his back leg, an awkward throw, but he got it there, and it's first and goal. Well, that was Hawthorne lined up in that wing tee. You saw him just drag out and take off down the sideline. Gibson, rather. White, right side, walks in, touchdown. And the Knights take back the lead, 12-8. to eight. Knights will go for two here. Comes White again off the right side, powering forward. He's close, but I do Ooh, not think, think he got, got in, in and no, he, he is didn't. stopped. So Big you stop. score with 4.42 to go in the opening half. It's Northwebster 12, A beat eight. Good football game. This time the Warriors up close as they've got burnt with an onside kick already once tonight. It'll be McMullen. Harold the deep back. Pooch kick, directional. Harold fumbles it. It's on the ground, but I think he'll come up with it unless he loses it at the bottom of the pile. I think he's got it. So 4.37 to go, and the Warriors will have the football at their own 30-yard line, make it to 29. Trailing by four now. Got time, need to get down the field and get some points before halftime. They meet only one timeout left, though, in this first half. Looks like they're going to go with the spread formation. Two receivers to the bottom of your screen, two to the top. Harold, the long setback. Henderson, inside hand off to Harold, off the right side. Gets it out to the 34. Gain of five. That's another option you got. We saw the bunch formation earlier. Now you got them spread wide. And you still got that option to give the ball to Harrell. Going with no huddle. Harrell again, right side. This time up the field, has the first down. Late flag. Late flag in there. Again, that came in from that line judge over there. I believe it's gonna be a face mask. They'll tack that on to the end of the run. So the Warriors will be out to their own 47 yard line. First down and 10, 410 to go here in the half. Clock starts now. Harrell again fumbles the handoff, but he gets it across the 50. Another five yards. Ball marked just at the 50. Clock continues to tick, 3.45 to go in the half. Warriors taking their time. What they're doing by going no huddle is not letting Northwestern make substitutions. 
Harrell, right side, gets it to the outside. Now he cuts it upfield, gets down to the 45. It's going to bring up a third down and about three, I believe. Of course, our stats are unofficial, but I've got Harrell right at about 80 yards so far in this first half. Well, they haven't had the football that much. Wow. I mean, this is only their second series on offense, and we're almost at halftime. This time, Harold's going to be hitting the backfield. Loss of two on the play, and it brings up fourth down. And what do you do if you're Coach Foster here? Cannot give up the short field. That was White in on the tackle. I would say at this point, you punt. That's me. Looks like that's not an option. Trying to get him to jump. Still 10 seconds left on the play clock. I think he's going to let it run down and take a timeout. And that's exactly what he does. Amy back on the field. Going back deep to receive is Smith. Terrible snap. Turner got it. Going to get the punt away and what a break for Amy. Ball takes a big Amy bounce. Going to roll all the way back inside the 10. 2.01 to go, and what a big break there. That was a terrible snap. No rush, so he was able to get around and get a foot into it. Well, what they didn't want to do roll. is give up a fake, I mean, a fake uh, punt for A.B., so they weren't really rushing, so he had time to get it off, and it just took that end over end roll and pins North Webster back inside their 10 with 2.01 to go here in the half. They lead it 12 to 8. Third round action, state quarterfinals here in A.B., Louisiana. The number 18 seed, North Webster Knights, leading it 12 to 8 over the number 10 seed, Amy Warriors. Time of possession, like you were pointing out, definitely dominated by North Webster. But as you see on the scoreboard, Amy only down by four. Well, both teams with long drives. Let's see what Northwestern does backed up in their own end zone. You would think they would just hand it off here. They do off the right side. Game tackled as White came off the right side. Great pursuit by Amy. Uh, I mean, White's a big kid. All you got to do is stand him up and wait for some help from your friends. Well, what they did good that time, they hit him and hit him low. They didn't try to go high. Right. He's not the kind of man you're going to bring down with arm tackles. As we said, 6'2", about 230 pounds, only a sophomore. From what we heard, LSU and Alabama's already looking at this kid. Right up the middle and immediately tackled. It'll bring up third down. It looks like North Webster would be happy just to run this clock out. A meet would like to see him have to punt the football. At least the fishing crew takes a long time to start that play clock. Yeah. Which works to the advantage. Right. And I think North, North Webster may take a timeout here. They can let it tick all the way down. They could run the third down play. Amy can't stop it, and they could go to halftime if that's what they elect to do. They'll take a time out here while we have a, a break in the action. Today, the LSU Tigers escaped. Escape, escape is the right word. Against the Arkansas Razorbacks on a big pass play late in the game to, to win it late. And uh, the Tigers now with a chance if they go to a bowl game to get a 10-win season. And uh, for a team that came in here without an SEC victory, and they took it to LSU all day. They 
except right at the end. Uh, Mettenberger goes down with the uh, with the leg injury. Insert Jennings, and they come up with a couple of plays and win the game. Well, a couple of offensive linemen are down. Beckham not in the game, but to me, the player of that game was Landry. He made some incredible catches on big third down plays and was able to keep LSU in the game. And Jeremy Hill with a big game running the football. Tomorrow, the big matchup, the SEC, the Iron Bowl. Number one, Alabama at number four, Auburn. And who would have thought Auburn early in the year would be in this position? LSU caught them at the right time. They were just starting to get hot when they played L uh, when they played Auburn. Auburn still ran up 200-something yards of rushing against us. Victory formation there as they're going to just kneel on it here. All I'll say about that Iron Bowl is War Eagle. That's right, I'm a hater. I don't care. I do not like Alabama. Everybody hates who's on top. So as we go to the end of the half there, as the clock ticks down, your score at halftime. Northwestern Knights 12, A-Meet Warriors 8. A-Meet will get the kickoff to start the second half. Injured on the field, hurt on the job, been in a car accident, the doctors at Anton's Chiropractic Care will help you get back to pre-injury performance level. With treatments including chiropractic adjustments, physical therapy, and massage therapy, you will quickly begin seeing results. Anthon's even schedules Saturday appointments to ensure that your treatment will not interfere with your schedule. So give them a call at 985-542-1640 to schedule your appointment or stop by their downtown location in Hammond across from the Columbia Theater. That's Anthon's Chiropractic Care for all your chiropractic needs. So cold that we had no halftime show, so we're back with the kickoff for the second half. And for one of these two teams, there's 24 minutes left of football. It was a great first half, a lot of back and forth. Northwestern leads it 12 to 8 as we start the second half, but the Warriors will get the football to start this second half. And no hot cocoa at halftime. The WSTY game of the week is the state quarterfinals here in Amy. High kick. Harrell on the run at the 16. Cuts up field. Now he's going to reverse field. Got a blocker out front. Breaks a tackle. He's across the 30. 35 out to the 36 where the Warriors will have it for their first possession of the second half. We'd like to thank our sponsors for tonight's game. Bill Hood of A. Meat, Drive-In Drugstore, Mountainers Tire Mart, Jim's Paint and Body Shop, Anton's Chiropractic, and s, &S Sports Center. And, Matt, this was a game in the first half. A. Meat only had to put ball twice. So long drives, and both teams were able to run a lot of clock. So, you don't have a lot of opportunities in these kind of games. You got to capitalize on these one. A meet trails by four going into this second half. Well, you had the turnover by Northwestern, uh, North, Northwestern, North Webster uh, down near the 10 yard line. They had a blocked extra point and a failed two point conversion. So uh, A meet fortunate not to be losing worse than four points. Henderson looking to throw, zips it high over the intended receiver, Khan. Now, Amy started out this game in a, in a triple I formation, pounded the football, pounded the football. And what we talked about was they have a lot of starters on Northwestern that goes both ways. The big running back is also the middle linebacker, so they wanted to pound and pound and pound. But they come out here to start the second half and put the football in the air, and it's incomplete, so it'll be second and 10. Henderson to the air again. Had a man open. Now he'll run it. Late throws it. Got a man out there, and it is oh. in and out of the hands that of Bonning. Henderson took a shot right to the midsection. And we got a flag down here near the receiver. Is this going to be some kind of defensive holding? I'm not sure. I, it, he didn't drop it until he started running back that way. This could be something on the sideline. I'm not sure. Sideline warning. You're right. There it is. Now, did they get a warning or do they mark this? There is a warning. Northwestern coach has been on the field the whole game, so I'm surprised it took this long. Some coaches get like to get on that field. Some get away with it, but this time they get a warning. Third down and ten. Like Coach Tomlin for the Steelers last night. I'll explain in a minute. This would be a big three and out if Amy can't pick up this first down. Blitz coming. Steps up in the pocket, throws the football, and he's so amped up, everything is high and long. 
and a meet will have to punt it away. Cone was, he was open right up the seam. Well, back to what I was talking about in the, uh, the Ravens-Pittsburgh game uh, last night. Jacoby Jones breaks a punt open. He's running down the sideline. Tomlin, the coach for the Steelers, has his back to the play and realizes he's almost on the field. Jacoby Jones has to change his, his angle and gets tackled where he might have scored. Fines will be issued. Turner That's the initial word. Punts and takes a big bounce for the Warriors, but North Webster will have it at their own 25-yard line. So they come out and shut down the Warriors on a three and out. And a change of tactics by Coach Foster doesn't work. And so now we'll see what North Webster can do to start the second half. 11.27 to go here. It's 12-8 North Webster. The self-proclaimed A-team, our cameraman Butch Lee, Matt Greer, and myself, Daryl Smith, bring you tonight's action from A-Meet as the Warriors try to stay alive and take that next step toward the Superdome. The frozen A-team. <laughs> Taylor and Hawthorne in the backfield. Inside, fake to Hawthorne. Taylor will keep it on the right side. Not much there, but he's still on his feet. He's gonna pick up about four or five. He just kept fighting. He would not go down. Those are the plays that are impressive when you hold on to the football, but that's one of those times where those guys start ripping that football. You can lose it fighting for that extra yard. He ends up with a five-yard gain on a play that should have been stopped at the line of scrimmage. Yep. Warriors have to get a stop here. Handoff coming around the right side. That's Gibson. Flag down in the area of holding. They meet players that are pleading their case. It's going to be, I believe, a holding call where that flag was thrown, and it is. Flag thrown at the Rhine of scrimmage. That'll back them up 10. It'll bring second down in about 15. Ball moves back to the 20-yard line. Nice fedora, by the way. Thank like you. That. Thank you. Thank you. Got the, the navy pea coat well, I figured, and the scarf. Well, I figured if you're going to, you know, uh, it's not the hounds too, but I'm, you know, trying to tunnel my Bear Bryant here. My inner Bear Bryant. Second and 14. Northwestern crowd getting loud behind their boys. Left side Ooh, is white and hard. he's hit at the line of scrimmage. That's hard and he gets up slowly. Gain of two, it'll be third down. I tell you, if Ard doesn't get a claw on him, he may still be running. Well, and that's the thing. What you want to do as an offense is get your guy where it's a one-on-one -on -one and you think that your athlete can beat their man one-on-one, -on -one, but this time Ard comes up with the play. Gain of two, third down and 12. And this is a big third down for this a meets offense after their as their defense after the A-meet offense went three and out. And well, we see Northwest is not afraid to run it in this situation. And they will run it this time on the right side, but not gonna go anywhere. No, I believe that's number 20, Cardell Marshall. Now they're deep in their own end. I would assume they punt this. And the punt team will come out on the field. Is that McCullen to do the punting? Number 85 does the kicking as well. Now they've already faked the field goal. Amy's got to be paying attention here. It will be number seven, Willie Holden, and also Kenner Harrell. Low snap, bobbled, but he'll get the punt away and shank it off it. of his foot, and Amy will get it at about the 34-yard line yeah. of the Knights, and that's a big, big break. And you got to understand the young man back there gets one, one hop to him. He just doesn't want to get it blocked, but it went off the side of his foot. So a break for the Warriors, who trail by four. 8.54 to go here in the third quarter. Warriors have it first and 10. Well, and as cold as it is, probably like kicking a rock anyway. And looks to me like they're coming back in with their power package. 
So they, they went to that air attack that really didn't work out for them. Now we're assuming they might go back to their bread and butter. Had a receiver wide open at the top of the screen as they didn't go into a huddle, but they get a guy out there. Now Harold, right side, runs through an arm tackle. Inside the 30, down to the 28-yard line. Now with this field position, it's imperative for Amy to go down here and get some points. No doubt in my mind, they have to punch this one in here. Fighting for your playoff lives. Two pretty evenly matched teams here tonight. Harrell again, right side, makes a nice cut. He's going to be down close to the 25. Second effort might have got him across, huh? It's going to be close to the first down. You're eyeballing it. It's going to be third down. I believe less than a yard. They meet already up to the line of scrimmage. So third down and one. Cornerback keeper Henderson will have the first down, picks up two. Got it easy. And that brings up your Amy Warriors first down. Quarterback sneak by Henderson. You knew they would be tracking on Harold back there, so he just put his head down and got the first down. New set of downs, 7.35 to go here in the third quarter. Pitch to Harold to the outside. Hampton leaves him in the hole. Solid run on first down there as he just fo followed Hampton into that hole. And again, you see the cutback. As he gets to that edge, he's looking. Well, all you want that fullback to do is turn that guy one way or the other. And once he did, Harrell cut back behind him and went up there and picked up four. Solid gain on first down. Con to the bottom of your screen, lone receiver. Second and six. Harrell left side, not much there. No. He's going to slip and fall at the 20. Had to put on the brakes there as there was no room to run on the left side. Yeah, there were three Knights that had crashed through the line over there waiting for him. And that's a big loss of two on second down. Now it'll be third down and eight. And we know that this is four down territory for the Warriors. See Vining coming in the game. Vining, the big play receiver. Harrell goes out. Binding's going to come in at tailback. Now Binding will go in motion. Pass play. Looking at Binding. Pressure coming up the middle. Late over the middle. Touchdown. Touchdown. That's Dude. fun. Wow. And I'm going to tell you right there, it looked like Gibson thought he had a play on the ball, but a perfect throw by Henderson, and the Warriors take the lead. Bubba Henderson fires a bullet. We saw Henderson start this second half. Everything's high. He's got to calm himself down and made a nice throw there. That's two or three of them here tonight. He's put right on the money. But credit Khan for going up and, and focus. He had Knights in his uh, in his face. Well, they cut in front of him, thought they were going to pick it off, and the ball perfectly thrown. Warriors will go by two, go for two. Here comes Harrell, right side. He's, He's in. in for the two, and the Warriors lead it 16 to 14. 16 to 12, a four-point lead. It will be Devon to kick it off here. This one's angled toward the out of bounds. It's going to be fielded at about the 14, he and he out. stepped out of bounds. Should have just let it went out of bounds. Yeah, that's a mistake by Taylor. So a mistake there in the special teams, the second one. 
the bad snap and the shank punt come back to hurt him and gives Amit the lead. And this time he's going to step out of bounds. Ball will be back around. Looks to be about the 12, 13 yard line. So 5.46 to go, and the Warriors lead it for the second time tonight. They have a four point advantage, 16 to 12, but this one's far from over. A lot of football left. And this is a packed stadium here. It's a cold night. White breaks a tackle, gets to the outside. Gets it out to the 22 yard line. That was Ard that had a shot at him in the backfield. Looked like 45, Norman Selders ended up making the tackle, but he was nine yards down the field. Could have been much, much worse. Yeah, though. White's one of these, these runners you don't want to miss. He'll make you pay for it. It'll be second and short. You see Taylor getting a play from the sideline. This time it'll be Taylor from the shotgun. Three receivers to the top of your screen. Hawthorne, the lone back. Looking to throw is Taylor. Spin move late over the middle. Got a man open. And that's White who had lined up in the slot. Takes a shot and he's down on the field. He took a shot on that hip. So a penalty tacked on to the end of it against the Warriors. Not sure what it was for, but now the ball inside to the 33 yard line. White on the sideline as he got up slowly. Taylor gonna run it off the left side. Got blockers out front. Nice tackle outside by Art and another flag down over there on the sideline. Let's see who this is against. Some kind of holding off that end. Maybe. Warriors are clapping. Yeah. You can tell the intensity of this game has picked up. So it's a block in the back. That'll back them up. 10 yards from the spot. So it will be first down and long. First down and about Looks to be first and 20 now. So the game's starting to get a little sloppy here with some penalties. Butler in the backfield with Hawthorne now. White still on the sideline. Gibson coming around from the backside. He's hit at the line of scrimmage, maybe got a yard. Here comes White back into the game. 51 on the tackle was Richardson. Looked to me like White might have fell on the football after he made that big catch. Something. He was kind of shaking that shoulder. And it was on contact. Perry made the tackle. Second down and 19 now, as we said. White back in the ball game at tailback. 4.20 to go here in the third quarter. The Warriors clinging to a four-point lead. Taylor looking to throw. Pressure coming. He's got a man open, but it's underthrown. Yeah, it was, it was Gibson up the seam that was open. Pass was intended for Lee, and it would have had to been a perfect throw, they had him bracketed. So it now brings up third down and long. But from where the ball is at, this once again could be four down territory. You don't gain a lot by punting. But let's see what happens on third down. Clock stopped at 4-11. First half. North Webster was able to pick up some big third down plays. They did a lot of it with the run. Going from the shotgun here. Taylor looking right, screen pass set up over the middle. Wide open. And how do you not account for that man? Number 40, Devin White. He's gonna be shy of the first down by a few yards. Makes it a pretty easy decision though. Yeah, you get that kid in open space. Amy bringing everybody on the blitz, and they set up a little bubble screen right behind the line of scrimmage, and White luckily 
caught the ball and got upfield, but he meet was able to tackle him. It'll be fourth down and four. A little early to say this, but this could be the play of the ball game right here. Everybody in tight. Both sidelines on their feet. White hit the oh. backfield and dropped. Oh. And that's hard. Now let's wait and see. Is there a flag down? I don't see anything. I want to make sure that he didn't jump. But oh. the Warriors come up with the big stop as Ard dropped him in the backfield. Jordan Ard has been all over the field tonight. So now the Warriors take over first down and 10 at their own 28 yard line. 319 to go in the third quarter and they lead it by four. Coach Foster looking for a long sustained drive for points right here. Harrell right side, he's hit at the line of scrimmage but spins off and picks up some yardage. He's so hard to tackle. Gets it out to the 31. Gain of four on the play, it'll be second down. Under three minutes to go here in the, in the third quarter. Once again, Amy with the no huddle. That time they had penetration did the nice, but they weren't able to bring Harrell down. Henderson looking to throw, got a man going deep. It was Khan and off his fingertips, but there is a flag down now, that on that side of the field. That is fine. I think he was he was held. See the coaching staff for the Warriors clapping. Definitely a flag down at about the 47 yard line. You got to figure it's going to be holding or pass interference. Defender over there had Vining wrapped up. Defensive holding against the Knights. That's going to be 10 yards on the first down. Gets it out to the 41 yard line. It'll be a first down for the Warriors. 2.41 to go here in the third quarter. Two unhappy Knight fans over well, here. North Webster coach asking for an explanation, but you saw it. There was contact on the sideline. Well, there was definitely contact. Not sure exactly where this officiating crew is from, but they've had their hands full here tonight. High formation. Harold left side, cuts it back to the right. Gain of four. And you know, you see Harold go into that line and he's gonna pick up them three or four yards. It's like you almost, you keep waiting for him to explode out the other end of that pile. Well, the thing about it is what we've noticed tonight is when they don't get penetration, Harold's always gonna pick up three or four yards because he always makes that nice cut to get that extra couple of yards there after contact. The few times he's been stopped has been when there's been a, a uh, defender that gets into the backfield and gets him early. Second and six. From the shotgun, fakes the handoff to Harold. Rushing late, throws it deep, pass intended, and a nice great play. play. Beautiful play. Gibson out there batted it yeah. away from Willie Holden. Holden was going to have to dive to catch it. Gibson dove himself and made an excellent play. Got a hand on the football, knocked it down, brings up third down and seven from the 43-yard line. Well, Bubba Henderson was looking for Vining on the inside slant. It got jumped, so he had to go to his secondary receiver. What a ball game here tonight in Amy, Louisiana. Number 10 Warriors leading the number 18 Northwestern, 16 to 12 with a minute 55 to go in the third quarter. Zips it to the outside, Vining. Vining may be hurt. And Vining had come to a stop, oh. thought he was going to throw it to the back shoulder, and the pass was led, and he took a shot. Come on, son, get up. He's on his feet. 
one of them where he was exposed when he dove for the football. Clock stopped at 150. You and saw the, will, yeah, you saw the collision coming. Uh, the trainer just told him to have a seat. And it's going to force the Warriors to punt it away. And it looks to me when they're picking that, that waistband up like that, he might have got the wind knocked out of him. So we take a second here. We've got 150 to go here in the ball game, And once again, another punt for the Warriors. Turner's done a pretty good job only because it seems Northwestern doesn't want to feel the punts. And they've been taking some big bounces for the Warriors. But we got a different return man back there this time. They're putting their big man back there, Devin White. And, and there, has, there hasn't been much rush on these punts either. The winner of this football game plays the winner of Kaplan and Union Baptist. It would be the state semifinals. Someplace the Warriors, you know, you can look down at that right end zone where WWL is at, yeah. and you see the four rings on the fence for the four state championships the Warriors have had. And somebody spoke to me before the game and said, man, it feels crowded in the stadium. I said, yeah, nice crowd. He said, no, all the egos. Roger Gill's on one side, Deke's in the end zone, and you're over here. Oh, Roger's here too? That's what I hear. What a mess. Roger, you, and Deke. We're all legends in our own minds. Absolutely. So Vining is up. He'll get helped off the field, and the Warriors will have a fourth down and seven and have to punt it away. Late third quarter, they lead it by four. Don't go anywhere. What they used to say in the old days, don't touch, touch that, that dial. dial. Feels like my nose is about to fall off. So Norman Taylor back to punt it away. For a meet, good snap this time. Not much pressure there. This one's going toward White. It's going to take a bounce. They're down there to there cover it, it quickly. Well, that's a flag. And they're going to get a, a basically a cheap shot there. Right. And that one will go against North Webster there. Will that be an unnecessary roughness call? I would call? think that would be what it was. Amy was going to let it roll. And he just takes a shot on the blind side on the guy. This will back him up 15 yards. Now the ball's resting at about the 18. So if it's half the distance to the goal, that's going to put him inside the 10. Mental mistake there by the Knights. Yep. Personal foul is what they're calling it. So 140 to go here in the third quarter. This should back them up inside the 10 to about the nine yard line where it'll be first down and 10 for the Knights. But again, as you pointed out, that punt gets out of there. It's not a very impressive looking punt, but it's got that tumble to it and it hits and, and keeps that roll going and the Knights haven't been fielding it. Well, you got to give Amy the gunner some credit because when that ball hit the ground, he was standing right there. So even unless and it's a low line drive, so it's one of them scary ones to try to field. Nevertheless, it's first down and 10 for the Knights. Backed up inside their 10 at the nine yard line. Long way to go. This Warrior defense has played well tonight. Arch showing blitz. Right off the left side there, nowhere to go. Maybe lost a yard on the play. That was now, Ard and Porter. Now they've got caught a couple of times here tonight, putting too many men in the box and a nice little screen or a, a pass play has hurt them. It's an interesting blitz, blitz passes. You're seeing Ard and Porter blitz it into the same gap. And they're getting well into that backfield where uh, Taylor's trying to hand that ball off. Loss of two on the play, second down and 12. A minute to go here in the third quarter. And I can promise you nobody's left this stadium. Counter play, this is Change White. Again. Gets a couple, gets back to about the original line of scrimmage. Now White's made some plays, but I guarantee you he's not used to uh, getting hit like this of what he's getting from this Amy defense. Well, he's earning everything he can get. They marked him down at the eight, so it'll be third down and 11. 
They'll have to run one more play before the end of the third quarter, and this is a big third down play. You'd love to see them have to punt it from their own end zone, especially after they just shanked the last one and had a bad snap. Let's see if Taylor goes to the air. Smith, the big receiver, looking at the bottom of your screen. Coverage with Burton. Falls on the ground. A meets got it. And the Warriors have it as they fumble it away. Another turnover for this Warrior defense. And that one could be very costly. 9.8 seconds to go here in the third quarter. A meet with a four point lead gets a gift as they have it first and goal from the five yard line. I believe that was, was it Gibson trying to get the handoff? I don't think he ever got it cleanly. They were trying to do a little misdirection play there and send Gibson back against the grain and the, the handoff from Taylor didn't happen. And now here come the Warriors offense, power eye formation. Harrell, right side, cut into the corner, he'll Good score! Star. Warriors lead it by 10. First play after the turnover. And you notice Harrell all game long has been taking a couple steps, cutting up field. This time he just used his quickness, got to the corner, and they lead it by 10, and they will go for two here. And according to my figures, that puts Harrell over the century mark with a touchdown. Bubba Henderson getting two through the air. Harold getting that one there. Harold off the right side. He's hit. Not going to get in. So your score, Amy, 22, Northwestern 12 with 5.2 seconds to go in the third quarter. So Devon to kick it away for the Warriors. Once again, Amy taking advantage of Northwestern miscues. Turnovers had hurt them tonight. The Warriors lead it 22 to 12. High end over end kick fielded by the Shark Man Smith. They're going to run it to the left side. He's got blockers out front as he cuts it upfield. It's funny okay. you said Short Man. He's 6'3. Marshall makes a tackle at about the 25, and that's the end of the third quarter. Your score, A meet 22, North Webster 12. Injured on the field, hurt on the job, been in a car accident, the doctors at Anton's Chiropractic Care will help you get back to pre-injury performance level. With treatments including chiropractic adjustments, physical therapy, and massage therapy, you will quickly begin seeing results. Anthon's even scheduled Saturday appointments to ensure that your treatment will not interfere with your schedule. So give them a call at 985-542-1640 to schedule your appointment or stop by their downtown location in Hammond across from the Columbia Theater. That's Anthon's Chiropractic Care for all your chiropractic needs. So North Webster trailing by the biggest margin of the night. 10 points has it first down and 10 from the 26 yard line. Opening play of the fourth quarter. It's do or die for these two teams to advance to the next round of the state playoffs and state semifinals. That's what it's all about right here. Taylor running, didn't fool anybody. Don't grab that face mask. Number twin. Number 20, Cardell Marshall was in there on the tackle. Also number 51 for the Warriors, Richardson in there, and a host of other friends. There was a, there was a, what is it, a tribe of Warriors in on that tackle. And you see that line judge, he's watching, he's watching. He's waiting to see if one of those hands goes up to the face gear. Well, they made it, uh, made a meet. They looking for him to go for that big run play and they were gonna bootleg around with Taylor and uh, we talked to Coach Foster for the same. He said assignment football. That time they that played their proper assignments and stopping at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Now they'll go shotgun. Blitz coming from the Warriors. Rolling right. Here comes the blitz. Throws oh. it up for grabs. Pretty good coverage out there. Could have been picked off. I believe you got incidental contact on Well, there. North Webster had the big receiver out there, had the height advantage. Their feet got tangled up. Number 13 out there had a play on the football. That's Dokes. We saw him make a couple of big plays last week. Last week, third down and 10 coming up. Taylor took a shot on that play as well. And you know, when, it, when it's cold, those hits tend to hurt a little bit more, you know? Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
You hear the sideline here. They're not giving up on their Knights. Third down and 10. Warriors defense playing good football here tonight. Let's see if they can make a stop here on third down. Taylor looking at the throw from the backside. Gets a bump again. There's contact. This one up for grabs, and it's going to be it. caught. That's amazing. Right there, it's a simple, simple thing. Third down and 10, you don't have to pick it off. You knock it down. They would have forced out. them to punt. And guess what? Northwester with a big first down, and they are going to be in business here as a flag comes out late. I think they're going to tack this on because, I mean, a &E players were just frustrated with that. As they should be. Two a &E players had a shot at the football, didn't pick it off, and allow the one receiver to come up with it. And that's a big mistake by that defense. You had to knock down that ball. Yeah. Another big play by White. Now the ball gets down to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 for the Knights. Early fourth quarter, they meet with a 10-point lead. Hand off to Gibson, got blockers out front, and he is tripped up out there, and that's hard again. Wow. And I believe Gibson may be hurt. Gibson's been down a couple of times tonight, and he's down again. Second down and seven, as Gibson helped off the field. Just started the play clock. Ard, big hit by Ard wow. on the right side against White. Dropped him for a couple of yard loss. Loss of two, it'll be third down and nine. <clears throat> a chilly night here in a meet, and those licks are getting hard out there. It's fourth quarter. It's do or die, and the defense got their backs against the wall here. They have a 10-point lead trying to protect it. High formation. Smith, the lone receiver to Bob Muir screen. Gibson comes in motion as he's back in. Pitch to White off the left side. He's going to get to the corner, run through an arm tackle. Face mask. They're going to go horse collar on that. I don't think it was a flag thrown. It looked like one of the yellow mouthpieces. I didn't see a flag, but they are talking out there, so let's see. Laurenta Harrell was, had the initial contact. Well, I thought for a moment he had gone to the face mask, and I thought I saw a flag come out. Well, they are as a flag, and it is a face mask. Never saw the flag. I saw one of the mouthpieces fly out. So five yarder and it moves it to the 10. So it will be first down and goal from the 10 yard line. Nine 24 to go here. It's a 10 point lead for the Warriors. But the Knights have a first and goal from the 10 yard line. Clock running. White, left side, cuts back to the middle, touchdown. And you can see arm why tackling. a lot of schools are looking at this young man. A nice cut, runs through the arm tackles, and the lead is back to four. I would assume they'll go for two here, huh? Well, they'll, they'll kick one. McCullen in to kick the extra point to cut it to a field goal lead. Field goal lead. Luxury A meet really doesn't have in the field goal department. As they got good. in there. Did they get a hand on it? It's good. The lead now, three, three. points. It's 22 to 19. 
Warriors special teams had a tough, tough time so far tonight, but they got the hands team on the field. As we've already had one successful onside kick. McCullen with a squib kick. There's no one over there. Will it go out of bounds? It goes out of bounds at the one yard line, so that's gonna bring it all the way back out. Flag on the play. It just went out at the pylon. And he's just trying to kill it inside the five to make Harrell have to pick it up. Well, McCullen's smart. He looked over there and saw there was no one back there. Well, they're having to play everybody so close that you only got one re returner back there, but the ball goes out of bounds, which will give a meet the football at the 30 yard line, first down and 10. Now, excuse me, at the 35. So pretty good field position for the Warriors. 9.04 to go in the football game. They have to pound out some first downs yeah. here. All the momentum on the side of the Knights at this moment. Here's where you need the Kenner Harrell show. Five, six yards a pop. Hang on to this football. Well, this is a time that you have to impose your will. Now, if you look, Big Devin Johnson, they moved him back to the left side of the line now. Let's see if they run left here. They do. Now, they went to the headgear. Could a flag come out? Do not see a flag down there. They got him up around the shoulders. Looked like they clotheslined him, but no flag on the play. Right. Loss of one. It'll be second and 11. Clock continuing to run. Now you see Johnson shift over to the right side. They have been continuously running toward his side. And here they go again. And they're bent in the backfield. Another loss on the play. Yeah, Knights are reading this real well now. They're just shooting up through the middle. Under eight minutes. Way too much time to be conservative here. They need to pick up a first down, and it will come on the arm of Henderson if they're going to get it here. Primary target will be Vining. Blitz coming. Henderson stands in the pocket, delivers the football. He got it. And it's going to be close He's to the first right. down. He should have it. Yeah, he got a good spot. That's not Vining, though. If it's on the 45-yard line, that's a first down, and the Warriors pick it up, and what a throw by Henderson. That was number three on the reception. Devonta Smith took a shot. But another bullet fired by Bubba Henderson. Now, I don't, I don't know why the official's coming over here. If the ball is on the 45, it's, it's a, a first, first down, down because you started on the 35 on the out of bounds play. So there should be no measurement or anything. So what's the conversation? Absolutely do not know, but they want to get these things right. Clutch play. I'm not sure what the argument is here. The ball started on the 35. It is now on the 45. It's a first down. Even if the nose of that football is on the 45. And you hear the North Webster fans, they're unhappy. I don't know what they can be arguing about. I really don't know what the officials are doing at this point. An indecision on officials' part is what makes people question any call. Right. And really, this is a no-brainer. The ball goes out of bounds on the kickoff. You spot the ball at the 35-yard line. You have to reach the 45. As you can see, the football no, is on the, the 45. Can you, can you zoom in on the ball there, Butch? Well, we could have, but the official stepped right in the way. That ball is resting on the 45-yard line. Oh, 
you know, these are the kind of things that call people to question games or whatever. Like you said, no brainer, Matt, it should be a first down. Move the sticks, there they go. Absolutely the correct call. It took them a long time to get something that should have been simple. No, they're moving them now. The Northwestern coach will call for a measurement. Well, and that's just ridiculous. To me, this is the stupidest play of the game we've had so far. As we said, it is a first down. Shouldn't even have been a measurement. This is getting a little ridiculous here, and it slowed the ball game down to a that's, crawl. That's Seven, all it did. 7.38 to go here in the fourth quarter. Warriors getting a first down, trying to hang on to that three-point lead. All it did was delay the game. And they still don't have the sticks right. tell you something, these are volunteers on the sidelines working those chains. The officials have to take charge of that. Yeah, at least let them know. I don't fault them. Well, they made the one mistake earlier when they moved too soon, and he yelled at them and told them, don't move till he tells them, but then he doesn't tell them. Inside handoff to Hampton off the left side, gets a couple. Knights faithful likes the fact that they're gang tackling. But they're going to give him, what, three yards on that carry? Solid gain of three on three. They did push him backwards, but only after he had gained three. And the clock continues to run. We're under seven minutes to go in the ball game. They meet with a three-point lead, and they have a second down and seven ball at the 48-yard line. And you want to eat clock now. Both teams have all their timeouts, so there's plenty of time left. Henderson from the pocket, good protection, swings it to the outside. Hold it. Caught, he should have the first down. Now they did not give him forward progress. The ball was caught in front, down to the 44 yard line. They drove him back three yards and that's where he marked him out of bounds. These officials not doing that's a great a, yeah. job here tonight. That's a terrible spot. He was a good two yards past that first down marker, which had to be at the 45 yard line. I, I think these officials might be intimidated at this point. Quarterback keeper off the left side, and he's going to be close. I don't know if he got it. We'll have to see which foot they spot it with. They got the nose of the football touching the 45-yard line. The North Webster coach is furious. Well, I can tell you what he's furious about. One of the sideline judges is supposed to mark the spot, but the middle judge put the football down where he thought it was. And they're signaling first down, which it should have been first down on the last play. Absolutely correct. Cannot blame the Northwestern coaches for being upset at this officiating crew right now. So first down and 10 from the Northwestern 45, under five and a half minutes to go in the ball game. And they snap the ball, and he's not looking for it. It's Henderson. He'll go back and fall on it at his own 35-yard line. So the Warriors shooting themselves to the foot. Big mistake here late in the ball game. That's 20-yard loss. That, that could be the difference of them advancing and going home. Smart by Henderson just to fall on it instead of trying to pick that up. We see that all the time. Now you'll see them try to work this clock, but a lot of time left, under five minutes to go. Both teams with three timeouts, but the Warriors now in a second down and 30. Yeah, that thing didn't look right from jump. Looked like the timing was all off on it. I was surprised there wasn't some kind of motion penalty to go along with it. Well, he snapped it when he didn't want the football, and he snapped it three feet over his head anyway. Up to Henderson down to pass the game. Zips one. This is Vining. Cross the 50. He may go. Kendrick Vining to the house. 
And talk about overcoming wow. adversity. There it is, Henderson to Vining. Kendrick Vining. 65 yard touchdown pass. And the lead is now 28 to 19. Henderson's third touchdown pass of the game. Second one to Vining. And this one couldn't have come at a better time. Well, I had just said it. They're going to have to make a big play in the passing game. And there comes Henderson. They had just had the 20-yard loss, which had them buried. That might be the play that puts them over the top here. Still a lot of time left as the Warriors go for two. A nine-point lead, which is two scores. Slant thrown behind him, incomplete. Yeah, that, that pass. So with 4.21 to go here in the ball game, it's 28 to 19, Warriors. Devon to kick it off for the Warriors, who have now a nine-point lead with 4.21 to go in the ball game after the 65-yard touchdown pass from Henderson Devani. Wobbly, end over end kick. Smith fields it at his own 14 yard line. Comes to the outside where he'll be stopped. Looks to be he'll get across the 30 to the 31. So 4 11 to go for an AB trip to the state semifinals if they can hold on here. We're not sure where that'll be. They will play the winner of Kaplan and Union Baptist. Should they be able to hold on here? 4 11 to go, a nine point lead. North Webster has it first and 10 from their own 32 yard lines. Keep in mind, North Webster with all three timeouts, so a lot of time. And the clock does stop every time you pick up a first down. So don't walk away to go to the bathroom, and you might miss a great ending. They're going to be looking for these big guys, Lee and Smith. Smith to the top of your screen. Gibson been real active in the passing game as well. Well, I don't think they have to go away from the run yet. This time they hand it to Hawthorne. He'll pick up about three, and they meet's okay with that. Oh, yeah. He's gonna force that clock to run. Tick, tock, tick, under four minutes to go. A meets getting the push up front because as Hawthorne got that ball, he was already in the back of his own players. Luckily, I mean, credit him for picking up what he did. He was yeah. hitting the backfield. Now shotgun formation. White, number 40, in the slot has made some big catches. He is their big athlete. Hards on him. And we got movement there, and it'll be five yards against North Webster. The right end moved, rocked back in the stance. That'll move it back to the 30-yard line. It'll be second down and 12. We've seen some penalties hurt both these clubs tonight. Well, that was an obvious call there. And definitely was going to be a passing play as you saw him rocking back, getting ready to pass protect. Move it back to the 31. So second down and 11. Same formation, Warriors showing blitz. Taylor inside the pocket, being pressured from behind, throws it deep, nobody there but Warriors. Good effort out there by defensive back for the Warriors, but it was even overthrown for him. That was number three, Smith. Third down and 11. And that time, good pressure coming from the backside. Yeah, he had to get rid of it. And as we saw in the Arkansas game today, you cannot get beat deep in this situation. That time, Warriors had four players, but deeper than any receiver for the Knights. And if he tries to hang one up to one of those tall receivers, you knock it down. It's the mistake they made the last time, not knocked down, which led to a score. Smith to the bottom of your screen. White in the wing tee spot right there on the corner. He goes straight up the field. They're looking for him. Number 13, Coverage he's got to go and make a play. Good job by number four, Brandon Burton, going up, knocking the ball down. You can't draw it up any better than that. So this is going to bring up fourth and 11, is that right? Fourth down and 11, 3.06 to go in the ball game. I don't think they have a choice. Offense staying on the field. You're down two scores. You have to go in this situation. 
Plenty of time. They haven't even wound the play clock yet. Oh, it's the clock has stopped on the incompletion at 3.06. The play clock just started. Three players back near midfield. You've got to stay deep. You don't want to give up the first down, but you can't give up a big play either. Smith going up the left side. Three Warriors back there. They might get an interference call. They're going to let that go. There was contact and no flag. And the Northwestern coach is not happy. So the Warriors take over and with 2.57 to go. Now, Northwestern still with three timeouts here. The Warriors are going to have to pick up a first down, and they should be able to salt this one away and advance to the next round. What a ball game here tonight in Amy. Sure has been. I got my daughters here with me tonight, Madison and Carly. I've already got them warming the car up. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the round mound of Popsicle. First and 10. Hand off to Harrell, right side, spins away from one tackler, gets it down to the 28, and Northwestern will have to burn their first time out. Did they call it? Looked like they were, oh, they may have been coaches were clapping then. Yeah. They, they're going to let it run here, 2.40 to go, and they're letting the clock run. A little surprised by that. I thought they'd have taken the time out there. I guess they might think they need them on offense, but you've got, you're down two scores here. Bubba Henderson winding this thing all the way down. 2.15 to go before they count. Pitch to Harrell, left side. One block route front is Hampton. He cuts inside, still on his feet, and he is picked up and dumped at about the 25-yard line. And I think now the clock now stops, they will out. take a yeah. timeout. After the timeout, 20 seconds left on the play clock. Triple I formation. It is third down and five for the Warriors. Now they offset the two up backs. Harold the deep back. Harrell, right side, blockers out front, breaks a tackle. He's going to be close to the first down. He's at the 20. And we get a late flag. Looked like he might have had the first down, but let's wait and see what the penalty is. Now they move it back a yard, so either way he won't have the first down. But let's see what the penalty is. And it is holding against the Warriors. Flag came in awful late to be holding. Maybe he had a little trouble getting out of his, getting a hanky out of his pocket. He froze in his pocket. <coughs> One fifty-eight to go in the Excuse ball me. game. Amy still with a nine-point advantage. Ball back to the thirty-one. They'll replay third down. Northwester takes their second timeout. So third down and 10 Warriors. Northwester with one timeout remaining. Harold left side, blockers out front, nowhere to go. He'll be dragged down, holds on to the football. And will Webster take their last timeout here? And I believe that will be the final timeout for North Webster. So North Webster now with a fourth down for the Warriors, fourth and 10. There's a minute 52 to left. They are out of timeouts. So they need to stop a meet, get the football back, and they'll have to score twice. So a meet in the driver's seat here late. I tell you, what a football game. It has been a great game. It's been a lot of ebbs and tides in this game. 
but a lot of big plays against big players. Northwestern's done a good job of shutting Harrell down in the second half. Yeah. And of course, White for Northwestern has had some big runs, but some big plays by Ard slowing him down on a couple of Ard's big played plays. Well. Henderson's played well. We've seen Taylor play well. 28 to 19, your score. Amy clinging to a nine point lead. They have it fourth down and 10 from about the 31 yard line. How was your Thanksgiving, by the way? My Thanksgiving was good. I ate too much, but that's okay. You're not one of them crazy people did Black Friday, right? No, sir. These people are nuts. Northwestern hustling on their hands team here. As it looks like Henderson will throw because if they can pick up the first down, they can salt this one away. We have seen North some big passes. If Northwestern has a chance, they have to stop the Warriors here. Henderson, pretty good pocket. Zips it over the middle, pass tipped and incomplete. So Northwestern with a minute 47 to go, will have a shot. They have a chance. The A beat Warrior defense comes out on the field and they don't have to stop them here. They just got to make them earn it all the way down the don't field. Let anybody get behind you. Play clock will stop every time you pick up a first down. You got to you got to tackle them inbounds. So you sure Coach Foster's been telling them that on the sideline. They've probably been talking for the whole offensive series what they have to do when they come back out on this field. And don't make any dumb penalties. 147 to go, 28 to 19. They meet up. North Webster with the football at their own 31 yard line. Taylor drops the throw. Pressure coming, throws this one up for grabs. It should be picked, picked off. off. It is. Vining. Kendrick, Kendrick Vining. Vining takes it to the house to and secure the win. It. And I can tell you right now, our SNS Sports Center player of the game, Kendrick Vining, just showed up. Two touchdowns via the pass, one via the interception, and that's going to seal it for the Warriors. And to Mr. Vining, who I met this week, your boy done good. Well, he told you to mention him. We got to mention him in some yeah. big plays tonight. Kendrick Vining takes it to the house, and that is going to secure a trip to the semifinals for the A-Beat Warriors and a stunned sideline on this side for the Knights. But they have played a pretty good ball game tonight. They had a good team, and they come in here uh, and oh gave yeah. A-Beat all they wanted. Nothing uh, for North Webster to hang their heads about. I know that's not going to sound very good right now, but... Well, no, I mean, anytime you lose at this point, and for the seniors on this team, this is their last game. Good run by North Webster. It's going to be a long ride back to north end of the state up near the Arkansas border. But like I said, they don't have anything to hang their heads about. Amy's going to attempt the extra point here. Nine seconds on the play clock. This is Dokes. Get the snap off, low snap, kick is up. And it's no good. Right, right. So with a minute 35, the Warriors lead it by 15. Devon to kick it away for the Warriors. Look for maybe a squib kick here. Can't give up the big return. And he's just going to kick it straight up in the air. They call for the fair catch, and you're going to get a flag yeah, there. That's got to be a penalty. Or did he call for a fair catch? Yeah, there comes the flag late. No need for that. Well, I didn't really see him give the wave, but he did was doing something with his hands. So if, if they did consider that a fair catch, then that's going to be an illegal hit. I guess that's what they're talking about. Because if he didn't call for fair catch, he's fair game. And yeah. they are waving off the flag there. Northwest is not going to like that. Now, I see the coach of Northwest waving the arm. I never saw one arm come up and make the actual call. I wouldn't have been against this call either way if it no. would have been because it looked like he did something, but it wasn't the white wave either the way. It is first down and 10 for Northwest. They trail it by 15 with a minute 31. And needless to say, neither coaching staff has been real happy with the officiating tonight. No, not at all. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
A. Mead will be sitting back playing center field just like on the last play. Taylor from the shotgun. Taylor, the senior quarterback, lobs this one out intended for White, White. I believe, yeah. and it's over him, incomplete, be well second down. down. Porter again putting on the pressure to Taylor. I tell you, when you see a game like this, I mean, Kenner Harrell was our player, you know, our player last week at the 226 yards, three touchdowns. For the most part, they pretty much shut him down from what we're used to seeing from Harrell. You saw other people step up here tonight. Well, Hen Henderson stepped up, Vining stepped up. Uh, Ard on the defense was all over the and place. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it was it was a toss up for player of the game, but the last interception return for a yeah, touchdown yeah. put him over the top for the player of the game. In, in our opinion. Sure, because I mean, Ard has, has been everywhere. Right, and, and the Amy defense has done a great job tonight. They really have. And you look at that scoreboard, 34-19. This, this game was close. But you can always go back to the big play on second down and 30, the 65-yard touchdown pass, which broke this game open that and I believe huge. broke the backs of North Webster. That totally deflated them. Looks like they were, were we had a meet right where they wanted. We get the football back with a chance to tie, and all of a sudden, Henderson divining, and that has been all it's done for for the Warriors to advance to the next round. After the offsides call, here comes Taylor. Here comes blitz. the blitz. They They'll got get him, him from behind. He's still going to run hard. He's still fighting. Fighting gets first, the first down. Out. And there's a senior quarterback who doesn't want his, se his season to end. Clock stops while they move the chains. Hurrying to the line. Needless to say, it's still a two possession game. Taylor looking to throw. Here comes Ard, gets away, throws it over the middle. In and out of the hands of Smith. Smith. How did Ard not get him that time? Smith just dropped mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. It'll be second and 10, 106 to go in the ball game. It's a 15 point lead for the Warriors. Just can't get lackadaisical here. And that's what you saw out of Smith right there. If you're not too cold, you ought to be standing up and cheering on this defense. Taylor from his own 45 takes a snap, drops the throw, looking deep down the sideline. This one should have been picked off by Selders. He was looking for Smith. No, that's uh, uh, White. Looking, looking, for looking for White out there. Pass knocked down. It'll be third down and 10. Selder, Selders had it right in the midst. That brings And it's just so hard to throw when they can back up and know you're throwing. Don't have to worry about the run. Become so one dimensional. <coughs> Taylor, me. here comes the pressure. He's about to go left, gonna take a shot from Ard. This one's out of bounds, it'll be fourth down. Ard again, putting pressure on the quarterback. He has been in beast mode tonight. He knows it too. <laughs> well, you're starting to see just a little bit of swagger coming out of these Warriors. But I can tell you right now, they've known they were in a ball game tonight. Oh, yeah, this was a tough, tough game to win here. When you get to this round of the playoff, everybody's good. That's what it's all about. And you're going to have to beat a quality opponent next week to get to the dome. 54 seconds to go here, fourth down and 10. Last chance for the Knights as they have it at midfield. And Taylor's been taking some shots back there, but the senior hanging in there. Yeah, he's battled. Selders from the backside. They're going to try to run it. He's not going to get it, and that's going to do it. Hard again. As the Warriors will get the football back. And everybody's got to keep their cool out there. Yeah. If you're on a meet sideline. So 48.1 seconds to go, and Amy will just have to kneel on it. And this game will be over as they will advance to the semifinal round against the winner. Winner. Winner? The winner of Union something. Union Parish. Union Parish and Kaplan. 
I just hope it's warm. Well, I think if we have to go to Union Parish, that's up near uh, Farmerville, and you know where Kaplan is, and I'm not sure if it would be here or there if it's Kaplan. I believe if it's Union Parish, we have to go north if we get to go to the game. Saints are going to be somewhere cold this Monday. Henderson kneels on the football. Saints May have to do on it the one more time. Saints Monday night against the Seahawks. That's going to be tough. supremacy in the NFC. That's going to be tough. Well, luckily for the Saints, a couple of those uh, Seahawks cornerbacks yeah. out for taking the roids. See if Drew Brees can take advantage of that. So A.B. will have to snap the football one more time to secure this victory, a hard-earned battle against North Webster. The Knights with a great game tonight, but they'll go home empty-handed. It will be the A-Meet Warriors who advance. For Good the, football game. As you see, this, the A-Meet faithful and Coach Foster, as they will line up to shake hands, knowing they get to live to play another week. Our WSTY game of the week in the third round. A-Meet defeats North Webster 34 to 19 to advance to the state semifinals. So for our crew, the WSTY self-proclaimed A team, it's Butch Lee, Matt Greer, and I'm Daryl Smith saying, we'll bark at you next week. Roof, I need heat. Injured on the field, hurt on the job, been in a car accident, the doctors at Anton's Chiropractic Care will help you get back to pre-injury performance level. With treatments including chiropractic adjustments, physical therapy, and massage therapy, you will quickly begin seeing results. Anthon's even scheduled Saturday appointments to ensure that your treatment will not interfere with your schedule. So give them a call at 985-542-1640 to schedule your appointment or stop by their downtown location in Hammond across from the Columbia Theater. That's Anthon's Chiropractic Care for all your chiropractic needs.